this is where the center of your body is, right? And he's like thrusting everything forward. So the whole gesture we get from this picture is like this. If that makes sense, right? V is finally gonna scream to become a Super Saiyan 3. Oh my god, you guys are gonna kill my throat. <laughs> All right, now, so like this is the gesture we're going with, right? This is also another gesture I can see here. Um, let me see, this is a smaller one. Going into this leg right here, it follows through his knee, if you can see right here, and then it follows to like his calf right here. But most of it is all going in this way. Do you see that? You see that shape right there? So like into the calf, and the leg here. Then there's another gesture with the knee right here going up. And then it bends back down like that. And there's a big one right here that's going from his chest and all the way up to his arm right there. There's a small one here with this arm. So if we turn this off, like, that gibberish, that's what we got right there. <laughs> oh. It's 2 a.m. in Korea. Okay, Lil's Rap Boy, take it easy. Have a good sleep. Get some rest. He would be a perfect voice for someone. <laughs> Yeah, just hit me up and let me know, and I'll, I'll, I'll do what I can. <laughs> okay. So that's the that's what I'm feeling right here. So if we like lighten this up right here. So let's find our shapes. Let's, 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 let's break out and find some shapes. So if you guys remember again, we usually, I try to like use triangles to find different like points and whatnot, all that stuff. So I see two triangles. I actually see one right here. And I see a second one here. Look at that. And these two come together. You see how these two triangles st stack together and they create like this rectangle-ish shape? No, rectangle? Yeah, it's like a square shape. All right, now I gotta think about how I should reanimate the scenes. It's gonna take a lot of planning. All right, so we got those two triangles right there, right? Then we got another, that's like for the main body right there. Let's just focus on this right now. There's another triangle I could see right here. So do you guys see this? Like, look at this. So like, we literally have triangle, triangle, whoops, and triangle like that. You see how all of these are like stacked together, but because they're all like different variations and shapes, they come together and they create this weird shape right here for his body. You see that? It's really interesting. So that's just one thing to like, take note of when you're like trying to break these down and everything like that to see like how to like how, how simple it actually is compared to what you're thinking you know what I mean then we got us another triangle right here and that leg right there we got us a second one here this leg right there look at that is that a rhombus I think it is a, yeah it is a rhombus a rhombus is like this right isn't that a rhombus? I think that's a rhombus. It made a rhombus! <laughs> Alright, and I'm gonna use a different color for the arms here so you guys can see. But I feel we gotta try and go here for the shoulder. Look at that right there. Then we got another triangle at this joint between that and the, uh, the elbow. See that? And then we got another one for the forearm right here. It's almost like a chain, do you see that? 
And then we do a backwards triangle for the hand here. A trapezoid. I don't remember my, the name of my shapes. Ge <laughs> Geometry was a long time ago. <laughs> I, I know squares, triangles, and rectangles, and all the basic ones. <laughs> That's another triangle there I see. And I see one here that actually combines with this one. Oh, uh, let's see. So then, going down to this leg right here, there's another triangle in this knee, right here in this knee, and then in this leg right here. So again, like a lot of you probably already know how to do this and like you, you have your own like ways and methods to like break into stuff down and everything, which is fine. You can do what you like feel comfortable with. I'm just doing this right now to show all the people who are potentially new or who potentially have some trouble with this. So that's, that's all. So if I'm boring you, I'm sorry. <laughs> this triangle is like hidden. It's like cut off a bit right there. So it's like more of a square. V, what is the size of your canvas? Uh, I usually work at about, uh, it depends. Usually in the four and five thousands. So like for this one in particular, this is four thousand by five thousand pixels at three hundred DPI. Probably doesn't need to be that big, but that's just what I'm. It's like a default number that I remember. <laughs> All right, so that one was pretty simple to break down. You see that? So you definitely get that feel of that motion right there. A rhombus is a diamond with a non 90 degree angle. I will take your word for it, Dina. <laughs> Geometry was last year for me and I don't remember it right. <laughs> Learning is boring, but the gains are great. Yeah. All right. Learning can be fun sometimes. I'm sorry that I'm not able to make it as fun for you guys. I'm trying. <laughs> Duck Bakken, hello, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated, hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. But yeah, so that's what our breakdown is for this. 